Despite my busy schedule, every night I find myself at this desk creating things, whether it be acrylic paint, watercolor, digital, traditional art. I will always sit here and create things to kind of recharge myself with this hobby I love so much. The motivation for this hobby lit up in grade school when I was given a pencil like this and given the ability to write. A lot of you might recognize this pencil. It's an HB2 pencil. It's very thick. It was made for, you know, children hands to be easy to hold. And I still have this pencil because I still love to draw with it. And this motivation sparked something in me and I began to draw every moment I could no matter where we went. I bought my first sketchbook myself when I was only seven years old. I drew things like this. I loved it and it became a hobby of mine that I did at every given moment. Now, when I went into high school, I was given so many more opportunities and it really sparked the artistic side inside of me with my new art teachers, with new connections I have made. And I actually met one of my best friends, Kelsey, who does murals as a living. And she taught me and opened the doors to acrylic painting for me. And so my second ever acrylic painting, I am still very proud of to this day, is a painting of my rabbit, Tater Tot. She was my first rabbit. Um, she passed away a long time ago, but this was a little memorial for her. And this is my first true, pretty decent acrylic painting. And this was a huge opportunity for me to learn new mediums and new ways to express myself through my art. Now, as I got into junior and senior years of high school, I had a total breakthrough of my artistic career. I had bought myself my own iPad and Apple Pencil, which is my most common used medium to this day. I began drawing cartoons and I began to get a following on social media. It really sparked motivation inside of me again. It kind of came back. Now, I am in college and I'm looking at major opportunities, but as I made this breakthrough, I realized that I could never use art as a career. And that is because it is my hobby and I can never make a hobby I love so much into a career. I learned this quickly after opening up commissions as an opportunity and my first one, I absolutely hated it. I couldn't wait for it to be over because it wasn't something that I wanted to create. And so I closed commissions after that first one. I never did them again. And I learned my lesson that I would never change my hobby into a career because it would just, it would ruin my experience. This is an acrylic painting I did just last night. Um, doesn't really matter where you turn it. I learned a new type of art that's just expressing your feelings on the canvas without realism or a goal and so I am perfectly okay with keeping this opportunity to myself as a hobby and it really expresses myself as a person. I'll never stop wanting to create things and that's just who I am.